Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From the Treatise Against Heresies by Saint Irenaeus, Bishop. The Sending of the Holy Spirit. When the Lord told His disciples to go and teach all nations and to baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, He conferred on them the power of giving men new life in God. He had promised through the prophets that in these last days He would pour out His Spirit on His servants and handmaids, and that they would prophesy. So when the Son of God became the Son of Man, the Spirit also descended upon Him, becoming accustomed in this way to dwelling with the human race, to living in men and to inhabiting God's creation. The Spirit accomplished the Father's will in men who had grown old in sin. and gave them new life in Christ. Luke says that the Spirit came down on the disciples at Pentecost after the Lord's ascension with power to open the gates of life to all nations and to make known to them the new covenant. So it was that men of every language join in singing one song of praise to God. And scattered tribes restored to unity by the Spirit were offered to the Father 
as the first fruits of all the nations. This was why the Lord had promised to send the Advocate. He was to prepare us as an offering to God. Like dry flour, which cannot become one lump of dough, one loaf of bread, without moisture, we, who are many, could not become one in Christ Jesus without the water that comes down from heaven. And like parched ground which yields no harvest unless it receives moisture, we who were once like a waterless tree could never have lived and borne fruit without this abundant rainfall from above. Through the baptism that liberates us from change and decay, we have become one in body. Through the Spirit, we have become one in body. Soul, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and strength, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of God came down upon the Lord and the Lord in turn gave this spirit to his church. sending the Advocate from heaven into all the world into which, according to his own words, the devil too had been cast down like lightning. If we are not to be scorched and made unfruitful, we need the dew of God. Since we have our accuser, we need an advocate as well. And so the Lord in his pity for man who had fallen into the hands of brigands having himself bound up his wounds and left 
for his care. Two coins bearing the royal image entrusted him to the Holy Spirit. Now, through the Spirit, the image and inscription of the Father and the Son have been given to us and it is our duty to use the coin committed to our charge and make it yield a rich profit for the Lord. From the Desert With Desert Faith This message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence all In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.